Hey Orin Learners, welcome back again. This is Caroline Green. Uh, for all the GATE aspirants, there is a wonderful news awaiting for you as GATE 2023 application process has started from 30th of August and it's going to continue till 30th of September and there is also going to be extended dates also. So every time a gate has to open someday, so the gate for 2023 has opened. So today I'll be talking about all the application process in detail. So stay connected and watch completely till the last part of the video so that it's going to be very helpful for you. So let's not waste a bit more and let's get started to the video. So now let's talk about the application process. Before going for it, let's have overview of GATE examination 2023. So this year, the GATE examination is conducted by Indian Institute of Technology at Kanpur. So we'll be talking all the things in detail. So we already know about GATE examination, which comprises of 29 papers this year. So if you are belonging to a life science candidate, you can choose biotechnology you can also choose life sciences or biomedical engineering so gate bm or gate bt or gate excel you can choose if you want to opt for two papers you have to uh, submit only one application form but you can opt for two papers and you have to pay the fees accordingly and there are actually seven IITs participating along with iac bangalore and usually the gate score validity period will be almost three years and if we have to talk about the eligibility and the opportunity, suppose if you are belonging to your undergraduate degree and you are in your third year, then you are actually eligible to apply. You can pursue your master's or your doctoral degree through this GATE scholarship. Let's talk about when is the online registration process is going to take place. This is the most important thing. The application has started as I already mentioned, which is on 30th of August 2022. And the closing of the online registration, it's mainly the registration process till 30th of September. So make sure you are doing your online registration process before 30th of September. And the closing date is actually extended with a late fees. So till October 7th, you can apply, but you have to pay an extra amount if you're applying it a bit late. And the result will be announced on 16th of March. So make sure you apply or you do your online registration process before 30th of September. No more late fees will be entertained. And application fees for one paper I'm going to talk about but if you wish to apply for two papers you can go in for it suppose if you're applying for one paper how much is the application fees going to be so for female candidates if you're belonging to India or you're an Indian female or SC ST or person with disability you have to pay 850 rupees but if you are going to pay your uh, or apply your uh, application process till 7th of October then there is a late fees that moment you have to pay 1350 rupees and for other candidates like general or BC or OBC you have to pay rupees 1700 and the late fees if you're going to do it it is 2200 so when is going to be the examination so the examination is 4th 5th, 11th and 12th based on your subject the examination will be conducted so make sure you are actually knowing when is going to be your exam. So make sure you apply it before on time. Suppose if you are a person who is actually staying away from India or uh, some part of uh, the countries like Singapore or if you're staying in Dubai then is if you're going to ask me a question can I apply yes you can apply this year uh, gate 2023 examination will also be conducted in specific centers outside India along with India very great news for all of you which is in Dubai as well as in Bangladesh and Kathmandu and as well as in Singapore so if you are such kind of candidate or who are in your undergraduate third year then if you ask me that question will you be able to do so yes 
but your application fee is going to vary than the Indian students. So if you want to apply for the exam centers in Kathmandu or Dhaka, you have to pay a US dollar of 100 rupees. And if you're going to do a late payment, it is going to be 150 US dollars. And if you want to take your center in Dubai or in Singapore, then your US dollar is going to be 200 and extended period, the late fee will be 250 and the same rest of the things apply for the Indian candidates as well. So make sure you start your application process by today itself. Okay, let's proceed on how can we apply for this gate examination. The first thing you have to take into consideration is going for gate IIT. So let me just write it over. You can just go in for gate.iitk.ac.in. So through this, you can literally go and apply. So you have to go through this website. So you're going to see something over here like this gate online application and you can go for registration process. Just you have to click on to this login option and then you can move in for this. So just click on to login and then move on to the page. And this is going to be the registration process. You can do it till 30th of September without a late fees. So you just have to type in your email ID, your password, and then you have to submit it. So when you're going to begin the process, if you have already done a registration, you can literally go and log in. But if you are going to be a candidate just doing it for the first time, then go and click on to registration here, where you're going to see this registration page, where you'll be seeing this first name, middle name, surname and the name of the candidate. Just type it very properly because you are going to get the same in your uh, GATE scorecard. So better you make it very nicely. So after typing in your name, everything, just click on to this confirm option and then you can proceed on to the next. And now you are actually going to see a lot of things which you have to do it carefully. You can go for your email address and confirm your email address, your mobile number and a password and finally click on to the summit button. So during your registration process, make sure you are making your email ID perfectly and type your mobile number and confirm your mobile number and also the password along with the case sensitive ones. After that, click on to the summit option and proceed on to the next. Okay, now you have already done the registration so you can literally go and sign in or you can log in and then you can start the application process. After you do your registration process then you can start your application. You're going to see the application status like this and then click on to I hereby declare that and proceed or start filling your GATE 2023 application form. So when you start your application process, there are five steps that you have to do your exam detail, your personal details, address and the degree certificates and finally all the documents, whichever has to be uploaded. So let's go from the beginning. So you can opt for one or two papers. So you can also choose two papers. For those who are choosing two papers, I'm going to show you. So select 2023 paper number one. You can choose any one of these things. Suppose if you are from biotechnology, you can choose biotechnology. And then if you want to write biomedical engineering or life science, you can choose. So I'm choosing life science. And then you can choose where you want to write the exam. So I'm going to choose India. If you are from out of India, if you want to write in Bangladesh or if you want to write in Singapore, then you can choose accordingly. And you can choose uh, where you want to write the examinations. For now, I'm just literally choosing randomly. You can choose whichever center you are comfortable. You can just choose it. After doing this, just always save it. It will be very beneficial for you and then proceed on to the next. After doing this, you're going to see all the personal details here. So you can see the enrollment ID, which is very important. It will be notified to your email ID also. And then you also have to finish off your date of birth, gender, nationality, category. So let's do it one by one. So you have to choose your date of birth. So let's choose the date of birth as randomly as it is. You can choose yours and nationality, Indian or other and write the category general, whichever it is. And you can also check in for this 
eligibility for general EWS. You, if you click on to this, you're going to get the information based on that. So for now, I'm not using that. And if you have a problem with dyslexia or learning uh, disabilities, then you can choose yes. If not, just choose no. And if you want any scribe to help you during your examinations, then you can choose yes. If not, choose no. For now, I'm choosing it no. And write the country where you're actually staying and write your permanent uh, state or the residence wherever you are staying so I'm just choosing randomly and very important choose your any of the IDs so you can choose your other your driving license pan card or passport or your order ID for now I'm choosing other ID and write the name of the parent or guardian and where are you exactly staying is it in India or other and type your parents number if you have and then you can just save and then click on to the next and proceed on to the next one. The third step is going to be your address for correspondence. So make sure you're writing your address perfectly. So just uh, write your uh, pin code, your country, your union territory or your state and the complete address and then click on to save and then proceed on to the next. The fourth step is going to be you're going to submit or you're going to write your qualifying degree details. Very simple. So write your college pin code the country and the state and the city of your college and your registration number make sure you're writing your registration number correctly and qualifying degree you're belonging to there are option which is actually given be msc bvsc and there are btech and many more are actually given so for now i'm choosing be and there is going to be qualifying degree which course are you belonging to for now i have written biomedical engineering and there's a next question which is do you graduate in the above degree yes or no so if you have graduated click on to yes or else click on to no and what is the qualifying year it can be 22 23 and 24 so for now i'm marking it 22 which university and which college suppose if you don't find your university in the list so you can just type the university which is actually mentioned there. if you don't find any of your university names here you can literally type without any comma or anything after finishing this then save and then proceed on to the next the last process is going to be uploading documents this is really important what are the things you're going to upload i'm going to tell you you're going to upload your uh, photograph and your signature and then you're going to upload the document suppose if you are going to be a person with a disability then you have to submit the documents people who are belonging to EWS or anybody else or you don't have to submit any other certificates over here so you can just click on to choose the file and you can upload there is an option for you to actually choose and then you can just crop it accordingly and do it there are some instruction which is given for uh, the photograph and the signature that i'm going to show you so this is the rules that they have given for signature suppose if i have to talk about the signature so make sure you this is the acceptable signature which is given here so your signature can be of this form or this form please don't make sure that you're having any of these things which is not actually accepted it will not be uploaded in the application form so don't have a bag background like this or don't type or don't have any of these things always have something like this then it will be uploaded very easily so make sure you're doing it perfectly on this one and if i have to talk about photographs very specifically let me just show you that so your sample photographs actually has to be of the first four you're actually seeing it should not be any of these things that you're going to see it beneath it shouldn't be any dark background or your face should be visible and do not wear a mask so your both ears should be visible so if you're going to upload any of these things which are not appropriate it will not accept it so make sure you're uploading like this case is the first four cases any of these things uh, the sample you can take up and you can upload and then the last one is going to be your ID proofs uh, so if you have mentioned your other ID or your pan card or whatever it is you have to upload in the PDF format which has to be within 10 KB to 600 KB and the last question is where did you first come to know about gate 2020 three you can just click whichever is possible for now i'm just clicking biotechnica so you can just click on to this and then you can save and then you can go and review your application which is actually marked here 
just go to this review option if you find any mistakes or anything you can just edit your application form and then you can submit and then it will take you to a page of online payment mode so make sure you do your payment before the time so if you guys have any questions on the application process or gate 2023 you can always be connected to biotechnica and click on to the uh, bell icon so that you'll be notified also and put your questions whatever it is whether it's based on your application form or based on uh, gate 2023 so you can put it in the comment section and we are definitely going to get back to you and answer your questions. So today I have talked about the application process of GATE 2023 along with some important points in the brochure also will be given for you. So I'm sure this video is helpful for you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. And I'm going to meet you back again in the next very useful video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.